Welcome to 3DI Tutorial. The user interface includes the upper menu. This opens access to the camera list, list of layouts, recorded events, library of clips, shows camera location on the map, gives access to the auto scan setup, shows thumbnails in the grid, and opens heat maps. Menus can be closed either by pressing on the X button or using the same menu button. The screen layout can be changed using the drop-down menu. The Go Alive button brings the camera to a live mode. The live indicator shows the current camera state. The bottom toolbar allows you to navigate through the recorded video using the back and forward buttons to jump by the selected time interval. Alternatively use the calendar to view footage from the desired moment. You can pause or resume playback of all cameras simultaneously. Stretch or show native aspect ratio for all cameras at once. Synchronize playback positions for all cameras with the select camera. Switch to the full screen mode. Press escape to exit. And set all cameras to a live mode. The bottom toolbar also holds buttons to toggle thumbnails and to create clips of the events. The timeline shows available archives and helps to navigate through the archive. The scrubber shows the current playback position. The center scrubber button moves the timeline to position the scrubber in the center of the screen. The system clock shows the current playback position and is linked to the computer system time. Additionally, each image panel has a clock that replaces the live indicator to show the current playback position in archive mode. The camera clock is optional and is controlled by the camera. It is embedded in the video stream. Thumbnails provide visual clues for archive navigation. Thumbnails are linked to the selected camera indicated with a green border. Use a single click on the image panel to assign this panel as the selected camera. The camera toolbar includes the play and pause toggle, the volume button, the playback speed control button, a toggle to switch between native format or stretched image, the three search tools, synchronization, events grid, and area events search. Take snapshot button, the PTZ controls, the microphone for dual audio enabled cameras, the map button, full screen toggle to expand this camera view. Alternatively, use double click to change the viewing mode. You can zoom into the image using mouse wheel. Drag the image to change the viewing position. The X button closes the camera. The help menu allows you to download a PDF version of this tutorial, or watch video tutorials on specific topics. From the profile menu password can be changed. You can choose the default aspect ratio for all cameras, or for individual cameras. And the session can be safely finished. Thank you for watching our tutorial. 